In 1998, San Diego attorney Brian Monahan faced the toughest trial of his career. His doctors found that he had two brain tumors and diagnosed him with metastatic melanoma. The reaction of the people around me told me everybody thought I was going to die soon. As Brian's family considered treatment options, they learned his best chance of survival was 15%. Eventually, we wound up in the place that we felt was doing the most advanced treatment that, uh, that was available. We wound up in Dallas and we wound up in Baylor. In early 1999, the Baylor Institute for Immunology Research was getting ready to launch its first patient trial for metastatic melanoma using a revolutionary dendritic cell vaccine. Those cells, they're called dendritic cells, are in very small amount in our bodies, but they are essential. They control all the immune responses. So it was pretty obvious the day we got the trick how to make millions of those cells in the laboratory that we could use that to vaccinate people. Brian Monahan is our first patient, the first individual who accepted to get our experimental vaccine. Dendritic cells were taken from Brian's blood, altered in the laboratory, and injected back into his body as a vaccine, a highly complicated process. The good news is there's no adverse effects. But the best news for the Monahans is Brian's recovery. We put Brian's life in their hands, um, and we were fortunate that um, he's here five and a half years later uh, to prove that they were right. Baylor's patient trials for metastatic melanoma continue, and they're looking to expand their research. I do see, personally, that it was in ten, in 10 years, almost every cancer patient is going to have a Dendrick cell vaccination. We have great hopes. <laughs>